Hey guys, <clears throat> it's a Sunday afternoon. It's not football season quite yet. Well, preseason, but not the full blown thing yet. So uh, I'm out here doing one of my things. Y'all know I like. I'm out here smoking on the grill, baby. Well, guess what? I got me a different grill this time. I got my birthday present, Father's Day present, anniversary present, Christmas present, and everything right here in this grill. At least that's what my wife told me. But she just don't know I can go buy a present for myself. Anyway, so she brought me this Louisiana pellet grill. One of them jokers that's been on my list for a long time, okay? Well, anyway, I'm smoking out here. I don't know if you guys can see that smoke. But I'm out here smoking me some a keto meal, okay? I fell off the wagon on keto when I went to New Mexico, but I'm back. And I said I'm going to pick it back up in September, so I got a little bit more to go. But I got me a big old uh, filet salmon piece of fish and some uh, string greens up there that I'm smoking. I'm cooking this thing at 250 degrees. And uh, I'm gonna tell you something, I've done this before. You talking about some good eating? That's some good eating, okay? I mean, that is some good eating. So, uh, I can't hardly sit still, guys. I gotta have something to do. You know, I got my, uh, I got my dartboard right there that I come out here and play sometime in the middle of my trading. Uh, when I was in Dallas, I visited one of my students up there, Alicia and James. And James and Alicia, they got, they said during COVID, they found out they couldn't go to the gym. So they turned one of their bedrooms into a gym. And I started looking at that. I said, you know what? That's a good idea because I hear if you lift weights, you can continue to burn calories even after you finish lifting. So I didn't go all in as much as they did. You know, I'm just a newbie. So I got me some, uh, a little, uh, you know, little gym here off of Facebook. Let me show it to you. So I got me this little gym off of Facebook and I got it out here on my front porch because uh, I didn't want to take up no space in the house. And then that wasn't enough, so I went to Walmart, got me some little weights here to go with it. And I got one more thing I need to get, which is some kind of little bench that I can do sit-ups on that's kind of made on an incline. And I'm gonna give me some loose weights so I can hang off the edge of that bench and do some sit-ups or crunches or something like that. But anyway, this will help de deal with the boredom of waiting on a trade to uh, develop. And nothing else, just being at home. Okay, sometimes it's hard to be at home and, and not have nothing to do. I'm gonna have to come up with me something to do. You know, I play cornhole a little bit, uh, play darts a little bit, and today I'm out here grilling on this grill. Wish it was a game going on, but I watched the Cowboys win last night. Yeah, baby. Even though I know it's just preseason. But, uh, hey, we doing what making it do what it do. So I got this grill out here, baby. It's smoking. You know, uh, <clears throat> I got another great video that I'm going to bring to y'all later on. We, uh, we bought us a house and we're renovating it. So... Hopefully by January or February, we'll be moving in. But uh, anyway, I went and looked at Cortez's house. Man, that sucker got a nice place. I mean, he got 36 solar panels, uh, four bedrooms. I mean, it's a nice house, okay? And it come furnished and everything's in it. He don't have to do nothing but move in his clothes. And he's good to go. Even got the pots and pans. Met the landlord. She seems like a nice lady. And uh, it's just all set up for him. So I'm really, really happy for him. The only thing that I hate is he used to live about 10 minutes away from me. Now he's probably going to live about 20, 25 minutes away. So it's going to make it a little harder for the, you know, if I just want to run over to his house right quick and sit in the driveway in the car talking. Uh, it's going to take a little bit more than that. So... But other than that, I love his place, okay? It just, it just got me excited just looking at his place, just looking around, you know, all the, 
the amenities that he have. Each bedroom has his own balcony. I mean, it's nice, okay? I told him, from now on, we don't have to go to no restaurant or nothing to hang out. We could just hang out somewhere in his house, on his patio, near his pool, on one of his balconies, or something. Because it's just in his neighborhood, it's a private neighborhood. He got all these different swimming pools and, and all kinds of places to hang out there, okay? So, uh, I'm just really, really happy for him there. And I would just tell him, man, it's just such a blessing. I mean, it really is just such a blessing to be here in Merida, Mexico, okay? I can't even, you know, after being here for uh, six months, I said, you know what? I ain't never going back to live in the U.S. Then after a year, I was like, oh, yeah. Now I really know I ain't leaving. I, I just figured I knew everything after a year. Well, now it's been over two years. Two years and about, I don't know, two or three months. And, guys, it just keeps getting better and better. It's hard to believe, but it just keeps getting better and better. And guess what? I still don't know Spanish. And it's still getting better and better. So, uh, anyway, it's not for everybody, but I sure am glad it's for me. And it's just working out great, okay? Uh, we bought us a car finally, a Prius, and we love the gas mileage, okay? And the ease at which it just moves. Uh, I always have been a Toyota, Honda person like that fan before the longevity of the, the car life of these cars. And Toyota has one of the lowest maintenance. Keep in mind, guys, I used to be a mechanic. The lowest maintenance cars there is. And they was one of the first ones to come out with the hybrid. Okay? So, I just look at this thing, man. It's so quiet sometimes when it's rolling down the road. And it recharges its own battery. You don't have to plug it up. Uh, didn't really like my experience that I had in New Mexico with that electric car, but I found out that we had a level one charger. You got to get a, a level two charger, and we'll have a little bit better life with that. But you can't do that when you're renting the car. You only have that problem, uh, that option when you own the car. So uh, anyway, we don't own a total electric, but we went half and half. Okay, we got a hybrid, and we are loving it. And uh, life, I mean, man, psh, it's a simple car. It's a base model, uh, power windows and cruise control. That's about it, okay? GPS, you know, every car got that now. Backup camera, that kind of stuff. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, enough about that. But uh, anyway, man, this life just keep getting better and better. And uh, I just, I'm just so thankful. Thank, thank God for all of it. I'm thank God that it's just working out the way it is. Uh, I got great friends here. Uh, find it easy to meet people. I'm a people person anyway. So, uh, hey, it's for me and it is working. Me and the wife just love it. So, Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share, mainly what I wanted to share is cooking on this grill. Man, you got to, you have to get you a pellet grill, okay? They're a little on the expensive side. I caught mine on sale, okay? But it don't have to be a Traeger. You know, go to Walmart, get one of the, the bargain brand ones or something because cooking with these pellets, as you can see the pellets down in there, cooking with these wooden pellets, it's just a whole new level. It's like cooking on a gas grill where you can control the temperature. I don't know if you can see that temperature right there. It's staying around 250. Where you can control the temperature like a gas grill, but it gives you that smoky flavor like you cooking with charcoals or cooking with wood, okay? And I'm gonna tell you something. It's a fantastic thing here. I mean, it's a fantastic thing. Anyway, guys. Just wanted to, uh, you know, hit you up with some stuff that's happening in the slow life part of slow life trading. And uh, that's all I have for you today. Until the next time, peace out and keep it slow.